Hey guys, it's Zach from Mini Quad Bros here. I'm gonna go over everything that's included in the 250 Mini Quad kit that we sell. Um, this has become a super popular kit and it's hard for me to keep it in stock. Um, I try to keep the prices low for everyone, so you're usually getting a full Mini Quad kit for the price of some uh, brand name frames. Um, which is great for beginners because you're gonna be crashing a lot, replacing a lot of stuff, and this just facilitates your wallet a little bit when you can get everything for cheap. Um, I ship everything from the USA. I'm located in Arizona, so I usually get everything out the same day if ordered early enough, usually before 12 p.m. or so. Um, so let's dive into all the components here. Uh, everyone knows this is a ZMR 250 frame. It's a glass carbon fiber composite. We found it to be just as strong and it's a little bit cheaper. Um, it comes with the uh, hardware here, just standard M3 hardware with aluminum standoffs, the uh, FPV camera mount and landing legs and Moby's mount. On these motors here, we've got the DYS 1806 2300 KV motor um, with pre-soldered two millimeter bullet connectors on both the motor and ESC actually. Um, so these are just going to plug into each other for you. No soldering required. If you want, you can cut these off and solder the leads directly to the, the ESC here. Let's see if I can get a focus. Cool. Uh, these are ZTW 12 amp ESCs, uh, Spider ESCs. Uh, it comes pre-flashed with 515.13 Simon K firmware, which is good for high KV setups like this motor. Um, also on the ESCs, there's a bullet connector matching. And let's move on to, uh, we've got a power distribution board here, just standard power distribution board. Uh, that's gonna mount under the, underneath the naze. Um, it comes with some M3, black M3 nylon standoffs um, for mounting your naze and the power distribution board. Uh, we've got a LiPo strap, some 18 gauge silicon wire, that's, gonna, that's going to solder onto your XT60 here and go onto the power distribution board. Um, we've got a little buzzer here which you can solder to a servo cable or JST cable, doesn't matter, and plug into the naze so it'll start beeping when your voltage is low or you can set it up to be a lost model alarm so if you can't find it in tall grass, you can hit a flip of a switch and it'll start beeping, you can find it, locate it that way. Um, it comes with a UBEC as well by ZTW, it's just very small, light, 3 uh, 5 amp UBEC, what is it? Yeah, 3 amp, 5 amp max UBEC, 5 volts. That's going to plug into your solder board, just like a, a power distribution board, just like an ESC, and it's going to plug into the naze just like an ESC. That's powering the naze in your receiver basically with 5 volts. Um, We've got the gym fan props here. Five, these are the new uh, 545 pitch gym fan props. Comes with two green, two black. Um, obviously, two are clockwise, two are counterclockwise for you. And what else? I think that about does it. Um, if you guys have any questions about what's included or anything else, just shoot me an email or uh, comment on here. Uh, I'll leave the uh, description. I'll leave a, a link to the website in the description below uh, that my brother and I built over the weekend to get him started into FPV. Um, everything we've used is basically the same, except we added on some FPV equipment. We've got the uh, 200 milliwatt, 32 channel transmitter with an immersion RC antenna that's left-hand circuit polarized, so we don't want to fear with each other too much. And a PZ0420 FPV cam. And then you can see the naze is stacked on top of the power distribution board in there. And it's just, so far it's a pretty solid setup. He's been crashing and really enjoying it. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, if you guys have any questions, post them here, email me or whatever. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want and take it easy.